let's digitize view horizon. In this example, because our rel data is our reference, so I need to move my seismic lines, okay, where it goes through the well trace, right? You can, um, I think for you, probably the increment is on 10, which means if you do this, it's gonna move like, you know, 10 steps, right? So if you change that one to a larger number, that's gonna go in a larger steps, all right? So um, you can either change that number or use this knob here and uh, let's see I'm gonna go one by one all right so over here maybe zoom in and rotate somewhere like that and let's go one by one yeah somewhere here all right you see the wells from this side and this side and I need to move <clears throat> the inline it's here all right it seems a good one yeah all right that's fine so one thing that i should do i'm gonna increase the size of these circles that i can see All right, yeah, maybe 50, it's fine. Uh, all right, so let's zoom there. I'm gonna start with the with the simple one, all right? So for instance here, all right, you see the pink color, right? The pink circle is just sitting on the strong blue reflectors. What's the name of that formation? Open up the others, and here you can, um, compare the name you can compare the colors that's setting and yeah okay let's give it that that way so i'm gonna go digitize this because um it's very strong and it's easy to do at step one but for your purpose this is not the formation that you're gonna do all right so you're gonna find out echo fisk and also you're gonna digitize the builder formation all right the builder is the top of the evaporites and that works as a seal all right so um for starting you know if you want to digitize this you need to switch to the seismic interpretation tab so um, you see we have different tabs right and each one has its own uh, tools um, for seismic interpretation go to this tab and activate seismic interpretation tools, right? So when we are here, uh, you're gonna use only these few, you know, um, tools here and probably this one at this point, which is quite useful. Uh, but first let's see how we're gonna, you know, how we're gonna digitize it. As you see here, these five icons here, all of them are digitizing tools but they are in different ways for instance the first one it's a manual interpretation the second one guided auto tracking uh, we will test all of it and you will see uh, what kind of things it does we're gonna test all of it and you see how it works um, and this one see the 2d auto tracking and see the 3d auto tracking okay um, because this is a very um, you know strong you can go ahead right away and click on this and do the 3d but uh, for this purpose I'm going first use this one guided auto tracking um, when you click on that it's gonna you know open up this window it says the seismic horizon one and if you want to see where this is gonna be saved that is under interpretation folder you know under seismic interpretation folder uh, horizons will end up to here okay seismic horizon one seismic horizon one all right i'm gonna do this which is the guided auto tracking you can s click on the blue one the second click okay and the third one 
you see if I go a little bit longer distance to here you see when I click here okay the line it's gonna adjust itself okay with the uh, with the seismic horizon if I click here okay it's gonna adjust again right so that type of you know uh, digitizing um, it's indeed it's called guided auto tracking so if I switch off the uh, inline so you see I already digitized uh, this much of this horizon uh, the next one is see the 2d auto tracking and if you click there it's gonna digitize okay entire horizon along this section you know, to the end let's do one here again if I click just sorry here you see it just kept going to here stopped here and you need to do another click here and it goes all the way down to to here okay because it's a very continuous horizon so again let's look at what we got you see we got two maybe i uncheck this one too we got okay we got this much of interpretation right so if the quality of the horizon it's not good or it's not strong enough so you might do manually in that way but if this is the case if the strong reflector is the case in that case you can go ahead and do you know seeded 3d auto tracking and you just need to do one click okay it's gonna take some time and it's gonna actually digitize that horizon okay as much as it can you see now um, this much is done there is some gaps in between no worries about that right we're gonna first complete this image all right so what you should do you need to move your seismic line to where the gap starts right so i'm gonna use my x line um towards this okay towards here and here as you see i know already this is the same horizon right so um, i'm using this uh, interpreted horizon as an indicator and then again i'm going to take this 3d seeded and one more click here okay you see it's going to complete as i go you see another click and it's going to complete okay a little bit more Indeed, why this is happening because uh, when it reaches to these kind of you know um, holes if the hole is big so it's going to stop there so you can keep going like that and you can you know have a you can move around you can move you know let's see what we got the other on the other side so you you can see right you can see a kind of you know um, sat day up here structure it's appearing here right you see that all right let's move the seismic line to somewhere here and then again like this all right another one here all right and let's look at to this side and let's click on this here okay that was good one about this one here all right so again take the x line and move it somewhere here i'm gonna fill this area now all right and yeah this is the way that you should do okay you, you, you can go from one end to the other end uh, maybe we fill a little bit this side um, take the X line and move it to the other end somewhere here and I'm gonna click on this all right and this one here and this one here all right 
so it looks good but you need to keep going okay as much as you can that you you can have a better okay uh, interpretation so let's see what we got so far you see what we get it's really cool huh so we know this is a slot that up here all right maybe the top of that you need to do manually because you can imagine there are a lot of fractures on top and it's gonna destroy the continuity of the seismic horizon right let's move the x line uh, to somewhere here that we have the gap these small empty uh, holes uh, that's that's fine I don't really worry about that because next step we're gonna make horizon and the software will will actually fill it out let's do a little bit on top of the sat there up here uh, with the manual tool all right so let's go a little bit closer so uh, what I'm gonna do I will try first the 3d but I don't recommend because at this stage it may actually cause some kind of discrepancy in our interpretation and don't just click randomly because if you do that you're gonna add error in your interpreted horizon don't do that make your decision at first and say all right I'm going to yeah this is the horizon that I'm gonna keep going it just stops here or I can actually go kind of like that to this point here right I'm gonna do you can try you know uh, this one uh, still is auto tracking let's see how it goes if you see it goes a little bit light it goes um, here it's gonna be a little bit tricky so in the middle of you know digitizing this you can switch to another tools right and then you can start you know just digitizing as you see here and when I'm here and I'm gonna stop digitizing I'm gonna double click it okay so I have now let me check uncheck the seismic line and as you see here at least I have a little bit of interpretation on on the uh, die up here right so uh, there's one here uh, you need to go okay step by step at least you know it kind of make a kind of grid on top of the uh, side they appear and if your grid size is a small it means your interpretation okay it will be very accurate all right so let's do a little bit with this to see how it works right so yeah one here maybe double click it and stop there the blue here one here and one there one here 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 something like that stop here let's see what we have done all right from top view you see we are completing the image step by step okay you do more like let's say rather than two lines you go along like 20 lines you know east west and 20 lines north south and then you are good um, in the next step when we are going to create our maps we're going to use the algorithm that's going to fill these gaps okay but for now um, just try to get these holes you know smaller and smaller because that's going to help us to get a better interpretation so one thing that i let you know there is a, a, there is a problem in the data set in this box no worries about that all right just leave it empty the software will complete later on. i think this is a good a good interpretation because the horizon was continuous and we could do this in few minutes uh, let me show you another tools here that you need um, sometimes to to make um, you know a cross section that you like in different direction as you see here we have only x line and in line there are state line when one goes east west and one north east they are parallel with the boundary of the cube but if you want to have a random 
direction okay something like this go to the 2d all right you can uncheck the z um, of the seismic your seismic interpretation is here and you can take this and then just click okay this is the seismic line okay i want to have okay something like that and then double click it okay when it's done and this seismic line it's gonna be added under composite line right if i go back to the 3d you see the line is just there right you can you can actually get you know in a different shapes that you want so let's see how it looks like you see this is the one that i have and this is the area that i said the data set has problem okay um it's a, it's not related to us it's just the way it is uh, and it's provided by aapg all right so under this composite if you open up that one you're gonna see there's three segments yeah under that and each represents one of these segments right this is the middle segment for instance all right so that's pretty much it i think you need to have uh, uh, i think you have enough tools to work on this project at this stage.